Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic resolving frequent account locker problems in an Active Directory infrastructure. How to avoid frequent account locker problems. Targeted audience, end users, help desk engineers, desktop engineers, system administrators, Active Directory administrators and IT managers. After watching the video, system admins can easily address the frequent account locker problems on any circumstance. In this video, we will do a deep dive in investigating frequent account lockout issue. If domain account locked out frequently, don't delete the user account and recreate. It is not the best practice. Don't follow any temporary workaround. Don't re-image the user workstation and laptop. Don't reset the same password for the user. Security-wise, it is not the best approach. Periodically, user must change the password in order to avoid the password-related attacks. Always follow the best approach in resolving frequent account locker problems. Root cause for frequent locker problems After changing the password, why frequent lockout issues occurs even though the end user did not enter the wrong password for multiple times? Technically, what causing the frequent locker problems? What mystery is behind that? Here is the answer. Knowingly or unknowingly, end user may disconnect the remote desktop session, lock the session with old password. After some days, due to password change notification alert, end user must change their password. There are some chances to store their password on scheduled task web browsers, LDAP dependency applications. These applications are not aware of new password change. So it uses old password for authentication renewal. Authentication session renewal with old password is also equal to entering wrong credentials. That is the reason frequent account locker problems occurs. So whenever you are changing the password, you need to update the new password with remote desktop session, locked PC, scheduled task, web browsers, mobile devices, LDAP dependency applications, etc. So then only you can avoid frequent locker problems. This is a layman explanation I have drafted here. If you explore Microsoft website, you will get deep understanding on frequent locker problems. Event ID 4740. Using this event ID, we are going to address the frequent account locker problems. Whenever the user account locked out, automatically authenticating domain controller create an event ID 4740. In an Active Directory infrastructure, all the account lockout event ID will be replicated to PDC emulator, but it will take some time for replicating the event IDs. In an enterprise network, we cannot go and search each and every domain controller for getting the account lockout logs because each and every enterprise network having more than 100 plus domain controllers. We cannot go and search on all 100 plus domain controllers and we don't have enough time to wait for event ID replication. We need an immediate solution. So using Microsoft account lockout tool, we can easily fetch the lockout status event ID with caller computer. Once we identify the caller computer, then it is very easy to address the account lockout problems. Microsoft account lockout tool is a free tool. It can be downloaded from the Microsoft website Using that tool, I'm going to start the demo session to address the account locker problems using event ID 4740. Let me start the demo session. First, I'm going to open my Active Directory console. Yeah, this is my domain mcp.com. I have a test user account to Richard. L1 admin account is the account is going to be used for assisting the account lockout related problem. Let me confirm the group membership of L1 admin. Right click properties member of yes he is member of account operator and event log reader let me confirm my logon session as well going to start the command prompt who am i currently my account got authenticated as mcp domain account let me confirm my group membership detail from the command prompt as well NetUser command. I have created a separate video for NetUser command. It is my first video. If you did not watch the first video, please watch it. NetUser command is a very useful command. You can see all the details like account expiry date, password expiry date, group membership detail, account lockout status. Those who did not watch the first video, please watch it. Yes. Currently, I am a member of account operator and event lock reader. Account operator group is really required for unlocking the account. Event log readers group is really required for reading the event log from the domain controller. I'm closing the command prompt session. Yeah. The same details here also we can see it. Moving to next one, uh, the Richard account status first we are going to see it. 
right click properties account currently richard account is locked out due to some wrong password attempt or stale password issue richard account may be locked out sorry richard account got locked out we need to investigate why richard account got locked out on which machine he entered the wrong password those details we are going to fetch it from the system for that i'm not going to search all the machines in my infrastructure currently i have more than 20 plus machines in my infrastructure i cannot go and search in each and every machine where he entered the wrong password or stale password for that i'm going to use tool uh, from the microsoft uh, provided tool so using the tool we can easily fetch the details let me open the tool already i have downloaded the tool uh, from my machine i'm going to copy it Yeah, this is the tool al tool you can download it from the microsoft website i'm going to copy this tool to my workstation yes paste extract this tool pointing to desktop give ok we have lot of tools but we don't want all the tools especially we need account lockout status tool account lockout status tool is a free tool provided by microsoft we can download it from the microsoft website i'm going to open this tool to capture the logs sorry uh, i'm going to use this tool for uh, viewing the logs from the domain controller select target i need to enter the impacted user account Richard, the, Richard is the impacted user. We are going to trace the Richard lockout status. Click OK. This will collect the logs. Currently, Richard account got authenticated by System 1. So, System 1 we need to use to view the logs. Right click Manage. Already, I have granted access for L1 administrator to read the event logs from the System 1. System 1 is nothing but this one is my domain controller. Click OK. Click share to file. I'm sorry. Uh, click Windows log. Let me come first. Okay. Right click manage. I'm moving the screen now. Okay. Event viewer. Windows logs. Security. Right click. Filter parent log. Enter 4740. 4740 is the lockout event ID. 4740 we can see the logs 4740 alone see 4740 only captured so we need a richard log log only so i'm going to open the event your properties see yeah the first log itself it is showing richard accounts status yes this is the call on mission on client 2 richard may enter the wrong password on client 2 richard may have the stale password these two things only causing the account lockout problem if the account is locked out for one time means it should be a normal lockout only so we can unlock it no need to investigate if the account is locked out frequently then we need to go for a deep dive account got locked out at 1 48 pm it was authenticated by sys1 the event ID is 4740 got committed. Next thing is, I'm going to close the screen. Before closing the screen, let me explain uh, deeply event your properties. If caller computer is blank, caller computer is showing us domain controller, what should I do? How to clear the stale password? Those details I have captured in the upcoming slides. Please refer the upcoming slides. You can get the more information for resolving account lockout problem. Thank you. Moving back to my PC. In order to handle account lockout related problem, I have not granted any special permissions like domain admin privilege or enterprise admin privilege or administrator privilege. Uh, and also I have not granted any domain controller access. Just I'm using only account operators membership as well as event log readers group membership let me confirm that currently l1 administrator is using windows 10 machine only see windows 10 machine only is using 
using AD console is connecting the Active Directory is connecting the Active Directory is not in uh, domain controller for connecting the AD console I have installed RSAT tool for connecting the Active Directory console RSAT tool we can download it from the Microsoft website I guess I have not seen any RSAT tool uh, available on Windows 10 operating system so I have downloaded from the Microsoft website using the tool we can connect the Active Directory and we can easily handle the account lockout problem without any special permissions even L1 administrator can handle the account lockout problem with valid document if it's provided as I said earlier using color computer we can easily address the account lockout problems sometimes below mentioned conditions get committed in the event logs like a caller computer is blank caller computer is domain controller caller computer is Citrix servers I have drafted the answers accordingly please go through it user stale password might be saved in the below areas of the end user PC and servers and that needs to be cleared to resolve the frequent account locker problems depends on the infrastructure above mentioned list may varies here I captured maximum possible areas for clearing the stale password guidelines for avoiding frequent lockout problems dear end users don't store your domain account and password in systems and applications always use service account with password never expire options for application configurations always use service account for scheduled task configurations after finishing your work don't forget to log off from the workstations and servers event ID 644 and 4740 account lockout event ID get varies based on operating system for Windows Server 2003 domain controller, it was 644 as the account lockout event ID. Currently, MS supported OS like 2008, RT2012, 2012, RT, and 2016. All these operating systems are using 4740 for account lockout. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and share. Also, subscribe our channel for more technical videos. Thank you for watching. Our next video will be Windows Server Update Service.